Hey guys, it's Lauren from rustichoney.com and I have been absent from this channel for a while so thank you for joining me again today. I wanted to do a quick video to tell you Happy Thanksgiving and I thought we could do a little decorating and some cooking for the holiday as we get ready. Happy Thanksgiving. I'm going to set most of this to music and do a little quick editing so I can spend some more time with my family this holiday. Um, but I want to say I'm thankful for you guys. Thank you for subscribing and I can't wait to hang out with you again soon. tell you after bringing my pumpkins inside the white one is still fine but it's starting to look a little yellow so I ended up painting it and then did a little dusting of the gold on top so it almost looks fake which is weird but it, it came together and I think it'll stay better this way this week has been so crazy busy um, trying to fit everything in in just a couple of days and get it all done before the holiday um, so I just had to catch up at home, honestly. I had been working a lot, so it was nice to just finally say enough's enough and come home, do some baking and cleaning, um, some homemaking, and turn on some Christmas music and get busy. All right, for our Thanksgiving dinners that we are going to, I'm not hosting, I'm just taking things to dinners. I'm making an Oreo cheesecake, I'm making sweet potato casserole and a fall salad. So um, I'm just gonna be doing a little bit of back and forth here, getting everything prepared, starting with the sweet potatoes because I'll have to bake them for quite a while before I can let them cool and get them into a casserole. So that's first. And then I'm gonna work on a cheesecake and I have the easiest go-to cheesecake recipe I feel like that's versatile you could change up the different kinds but the base is the same so I'm starting with an Oreo base but you could do graham crackers uh, brownies or whatever you you know cookies there's lots of different things you could do to switch it up I just think it's easy to do Oreo and that's what everybody seems to like so um, and then it's three bars of cream cheese and I get those whipped together at room temperature add in three eggs a can of sweetened condensed milk did I say three eggs? <laughs> three eggs and vanilla. It's three bars of cream cheese and three eggs, so it's easy to remember. A can of sweetened condensed milk, vanilla, and that's it. And then you just whip that together and bake it at 300 for about an hour is what it usually takes in my oven. And I put a pan of water below it because that helps it keep from cracking. And when it's done, you just open the oven just slightly to let the heat out. You don't wanna let it cool too quick because that's what makes it crack. 
anyway, I've been baking cheesecakes for a while and I still don't think I have it quite perfected, but it's pretty yummy either way. Um, next up, I'm making the dressing for my salad and it's a really easy vinaigrette that I love um, for the holidays. So it is equal parts olive oil, Greek yogurt, and um, honey. So it's a nice, sweet, tangy dressing. There's also apple cider vinegar, a little bit of Dijon mustard, salt, pepper, and garlic powder. And then I just shake it up in, in a mason jar and until it's kind of emulsified and it's ready to go. And I'll probably just shake it up again tomorrow before I dress the salad. But I'm doing a mixed green salads with um, Granny Smith apples. So you get a little bit of a tart with the sweet. And then on top, you can't go wrong with cranberries, pecans, and goat cheese, if you ask me. It's a heavenly fall salad, perfect for Thanksgiving or Christmas. Um, and something easy to make ahead of time, because I have to make lots of things ahead of time to take with me. Also, um, put a paper towel in the, in the salad. It does help keep, and I'm going to put the rest of it in a salad spinner, because I feel like it just keeps it really dry, and it keeps it... Um, to where it won't go bad before dinner. So this is me just getting back to um, the goat cheese, the pecans, and the cranberries. I ended up putting them all together. Sometimes I wait until dinner, but this year I was like, I just want everything ready so I can just throw it into a bowl when we get there. So I sometimes make a log of cheese like this for Christmas time with crackers, and it's really good too. It's a really easy thing to do. You could even add some fresh herbs and just roll the, the loaf basically together. Um, and that's an easy thing to do for the holidays as well. This tree has been a true testament to how busy the week has been. I started to decorate last weekend and half my lights worked and half didn't. So that's where we left off and then I had garlands out and my kids went to town with it. So this is my half done Christmas tree that we've had up all week. So. I'm just now getting to putting the rest of the lights on and next week I will share with you guys more of our Christmas decor. So if you're not subscribed here, please subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. I would love to see you back here again and we can celebrate the holidays together. Um, I'm excited for the holidays. I'm excited for some slow time with family and Christmas movies and um, all that the season brings. So anyway, happy Thanksgiving. Enjoy the downtime with your families and all the good food, of course. See you back here again soon.